In today's video, we're going to be talking about what kind of live streaming performance I got on this super budget $400 used gaming PC build. And I'm also going to share some tips if you're thinking about live streaming on your own budget gaming PC. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be talking about all about live streaming on a budget gaming PC, specifically with this $400 one that I made a video on a couple of weeks ago. And if you're new here and you wanna see other live streaming or PC building videos just like this one, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell, that way you never miss an episode, but yeah. Let's get into it. All right, so just to get you up to speed on this build really quickly, if you haven't seen the previous video, let's quickly talk about its specs. This used gaming PC is based around the OEM pre-built Dell Studio XPS 9100 with an upgraded Xeon X5680 six core CPU. There's also 12 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, an XFX RX480 eight gigabyte GPU, and finally everything is installed on a one terabyte SSD. I paid around $400 for this used gaming PC build in total. And if you wanna see more in-depth analysis and the full benchmarking results, then I would highly recommend checking out this video up here. The gaming results of this build were pretty impressive thanks to the six core processor and the baller RX 480, but I wanted to know if it was viable to live stream with a single PC setup. You guys know that I've actually recently jumped into the live streaming game. Make sure you're following me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash but up until this, I had zero experience with live streaming on a budget gaming PC. I'll admit it, my live streaming career has only ever been done from a monster i7 8700K and RTX 2080 Ti system, so I'm absolutely no expert when it comes to maximizing live streaming performance on budget gaming PCs. I decided to live stream with this $400 gaming PC to try to learn the ins and outs of live streaming on a budget because I know a lot of you are interested in that. One thing to note before showing what results I got is that the video footage of the stream that you're currently watching is heavily compressed and not the same quality that I was actually uploading. This video here was already compressed once from YouTube when I was going live, then it was compressed and converted to an mp4 file when I downloaded it, and now it's being compressed again when I export and upload it into this video. Sorry I didn't record the source file directly when streaming, but yeah, just know that the quality was a tad bit better than what you're seeing now. With that out of the way, let's talk about what the performance was actually looking like when live streaming with this system. Before firing up any games, just just like my normal live streams, I started out with just the webcam source and as you can see, the stream looked pretty fine. I already explained the quality from the compression, but this was also just a Logitech C922 which doesn't produce a great image, but the PC could definitely handle a just chatting stream if that's what you're into. As far as our first game goes, the first one I obviously had to fire up was Fortnite and for the first round of settings, I kept them at 1080p in pro settings, which is basically low with epic view distance and I kept the FPS locked to 60. Here as you can see, we started to see some standard definition quality issues going on, but it was certainly good enough quality in my opinion, and like I said, there may be ways to tweak this better than what I did. The system did manage to stay right at our lock 60 FPS the entire time, however. After that, I decided to up our capped FPS to 144, and with this, the system was averaging around 120 to 144 FPS the entire time, and the quality of the stream did go down a bit, but it still remained pretty smooth throughout, and we weren't getting any FPS spikes or anything like that, so I was happy. Next up was PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, and here's where we started to have some issues but only at the start. I accidentally left the menu settings or menu FPS or the lobby FPS I think they call it at unlimited and this tells the CPU to draw all the resources that it possibly can and then the game completely lagged out, but this can happen to any other game, not just PUBG. Here you can see that the stream was almost non-responsive, but I've actually done this on my own live stream with the 2080 Ti, so I wasn't too worried about it. Just be sure to always cap lobby or menu FPS if the game has that feature. Anyways, when I actually got into a game, I put the settings at 1080p Pro yet again, and I actually maintained a solid 55 to 60 FPS average. The quality looked pretty solid when I first brought it up, but as the stream went on and I got to more demanding parts of the map, you can actually start to see the quality go down a bit. Once again, definitely good enough to stream, but it didn't look that great. Next up was WoW Classic, definitely easier to run title, and with the level 3 or classic settings, this system was averaging easily over 200 FPS, and the quality of the stream was great and super smooth. Following that, I fired up Rainbow 
Six Siege and in 1080p with high settings and VSync turned on to cap it at 60, the FPS actually stayed right at 60 the entire time very easily and the stream was pretty much full source quality. With Rainbow Six Siege, there's actually no way to cap the FPS higher than 60. The quality of the stream definitely went down when I left it at Unlimited, but this is just the nature of the beast with some of these games. And finally, the last game I fired up on stream was CSGO and in 1080p in pro settings, we were getting over 150 FPS almost the entire time. Here's a game where you can use unlimited FPS and it doesn't consume all of your CPU resources. And if you actually did cap the FPS, the quality of the stream would have looked even better. So those are the results of my personal project of live streaming on a budget gaming PC. Like I said, I had zero experience doing this up until then. And I'm very happy that I gave this a shot and I could see these results for myself. Overall, I would definitely say that it's possible to run a single PC streaming setup with this budget of a build if you really want to. But if you're looking to get a little bit higher of a quality, then I would personally look at a bit more of an updated gaming PC or rock a dual PC streaming setup. Well, there you have it. That wraps up my own personal project of live streaming on a budget gaming PC. As always, drop a comment down below about what you thought of these results or please share your own experience live streaming on a budget gaming PC. You might help out some of the other viewers and myself. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet and definitely hit that subscribe button because coming up next, we're upgrading my main gaming PC. You do not want to miss that video.